Hello, so for today's social skills lesson, we are going back to mobile phone etiquette. Okay, 今天我们会回去讲手机礼仪. So today I'll be touching on formal calls. So um, I don't know if you remember like <laughs> almost two months ago, we did um, informal calls. So now we are doing formal calls. Okay, so today我会讲的就是正式通话. 呃，不知道你们记不记得我们大概两个月前有讲到非正式通话，可是今天我会讲正式通话。So what are formal calls? So these are some examples of formal calls: business, work calls, talking about serious matters, calling organizations or companies, and job interview. So um, these are some examples of formal calls, which um, means that they are important things and you're talking to someone of certain importance and um, you need some kind of like formality and politeness. Not saying you don't need to be polite when you're informal, but the way you talk to the people in formal calls are more serious. So what is the real uh, so, what's the difference between formal and informal? So, in case you all uh, forgot what informal is all about, here's a bit of a, a refresher and also to let you know what's the difference between uh, when you're having a formal call because that's very important. So, um, formal calls involve people that you may not personally know. So, example, like your boss, you know your boss at work, but you don't know what who is your boss outside of work, that kind of thing. So, um, that's someone that you don't personally know, like they're not technically your friends, okay, or like staff or official. And then informal calls, you are calling people that you personally know, people who are part of your life, such as your friends, your family, uh, etc. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, so, 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 当你在做正式的通话的时候要有什么样的说法 so, uh, like your okay? So, next is um, informal, you usually do it for casual calls. So, there's no need to take down any, any important information. Like, usually, your family just to call you to talk to you, or your friends talk to you, or to just remind you about something. And usually, you don't need to take, it's not anything that is very important. Lah. Like, if you don't do, it's never mind what. But for formal, you may need to prepare a pen and paper because you may have to write things down. Okay? So, like, uh, you might be doing an interview, and your, your interviewer is giving you important uh, dates. Or you are calling the some uh, organization and they're telling you some important details. Then you have to write that down. Okay? So, the second is when you are doing a formal call, you usually are free to call anyone. You don't need to write down important information. But when you are doing a formal call, you may need to write down some important information. For example, if your boss tells you important information, 所以你要准备纸和笔 OK? So the next one is informal uh, For informal calls, it's a casual setting So casual meaning like can anyhow say Anyhow uh, talk one lah Like um, how I'm talking to you now is more informal But for formal, it's a professional setting So you may not be able to talk as freely as you wish You need to have a certain uh, tone to your voice And uh, the the way you uh, convey information is also different. Okay? So, uh, when you are doing a formal conversation, it is usually in a relaxed environment. For example, when I am talking to you, it is a bit more formal. Then, if it is 
正式通话，是要在一个专业的环境讲话。像呃，你因为你不可能像我这样这样跟你讲话，那你用这种呃这种方式跟你的老板讲话，你老板可能会生气还是什么 ？OK。So when you receive a call for um in for formal calls. The first thing is greeting. Same thing, ah,、uh, greeting. So the person will usually introduce themselves by their name and company. So regardless of whether you call them or they call you, um, if you're calling like a company, they will usually um introduce themselves first. Okay. So when you ah、uh, 打电话给呃、uh, 做正式通话的时候，通常呃、uh, 对方会先开始呃、uh, 说他们的公司还有自己的名字来做开头 Then ah.、Uh, Next is for you to identify yourself. So if you are the one making the phone call, you have to tell them, "Uh, hi, I'm Vincent, and may I speak to so and so?" Okay. So because you usually when you're calling organizations, you are looking for somebody, right? Or if you're not, then maybe you can just um immediately ask your question. Okay. So the second one is uh, you need to show your ID. So when you are calling other people, when you are calling other people, you have to give a self-introduction. That is to say, "Hi, I'm Vincent." 就是讲，呃，我是 Vincent， 那我可以呃找这个人吗 ？Then， 呃，他们会转换那个电话给他们咯。So， 嗯、um, ，Then you move on to the purpose of the phone call. So， example， if you're calling for a job interview， you can be like， Hi， I am so and so. May I speak to this person? I am calling to， 呃、uh, ，for the job interview. So that's how you move on to the topic. Okay. 所以下一个就是呃话题，就是讲呃，就是就呃就是讲你呃打电话的原因啦。如果你是在面打电话做面试，就可以跟他们讲哦，我是 Vincent， 呃，我可以找这个人吗？因为呃我现在是打来呃做面试的。Okay， and then especially if you already know that you are going to get information. Prepare pen and paper beside you even before you ah、uh, get the call. Okay, so you can readily write down stuff. Okay, so if you already know that you are calling to ask for information, you need to prepare pen and paper beside you even before you ah get the call. Okay, so if you already know that you are calling to ask for information, you need to prepare pen and paper beside you even before you ah get the call. Okay, so if you already know that you are calling to ask for information, you need to prepare pen and paper beside you even before you ah get the call. Okay, so if you already know that you are calling to ask for information, you need to prepare pen and paper beside you even before you ah get the call. Okay, so if you already know that you are calling to ask for information, you need to prepare pen and 你就是讲完后，如果你有写下某些信息，你就把那些写的东西，呃，读回给对方。对，然后挂电话之前要跟他们说一声谢谢。Okay, so now here is a little activity. So you should have your worksheets already, right? So um, now you have to guess if in this situation is formal or informal. Okay, so now it's a little exercise. So uh, you have your worksheets already, right? So um, now you have your worksheets already, right? 视频上的东西，连可以猜猜这是非正式或者呃正式的通话。So first calling your mother， 第一个就是打电话给你的妈妈。So is this formal or informal？ 这是正式还是非正式 ？Okay， next is calling the clinic。下一个就是打电话给呃诊疗所。Formal or informal？ Okay, next is making a reservation at a restaurant. 下一个就是打给餐馆定位 Next is calling a friend. 下一个就是打给呃打电话给朋友 Okay, so um that's it. So uh I will go through the answers with you all now, and uh let's see how much you got correct. Okay, so 现在我会跟你们呃查检查你的答案 And 看如果你有猜对吗 ？So if you have any other questions, you can just ask me. 如果你还有任何问题，你就可以来问我。